Hi, my name is Beth and I'm the sewing pattern designer and blogger at Sew DIY. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to sew a slip stitch by hand. This is probably my favorite hand sewing stitch and it's so useful. I use it all the time. And the amazing thing about it is it's pretty much invisible. Look, it's invisible. I have this bias facing. This is a Lou box top, one of my patterns. And this is a really nice silk fabric that's really delicate. And this is a great example of when you would want to use a slip stitch. Because when you're using delicate fabrics, sometimes they don't always behave that well in the machine. So doing a slip stitch by hand creates this beautiful finish that has like very low impact on the fabric and it just, it's like luxurious and beautiful and it takes more time to do but it will give you a nicer finish when you're working with something that's really finicky like a drapey silk. So let's get started. So here I have a scrap of fabric and in this example I'm pretending that this is a neckline and I'm doing a bias facing. So you can use this hand stitch for a bias facing and you'll have basically no stitches visible on the outside of your garment or it's really handy for a hem. So I have this bias facing stitched on and I'm ready to put it in place, sew it in place. And I have a double strand of thread and there's a knot at the end. So I'm going to take this and just put the needle through the bias facing. This would be the facing or the hem. And pull my thread through and then loop the needle through this loop by the knot and pull it tight. So this is going to avoid putting any strain onto the garment itself. The strain is going to be, the strain of this knot being pulled tight is on the facing where we want it. So we have that little knot there and then I'm going to take my needle and really close to this knot I'm going to pick up just one or two threads of my garment. You want to take just as few threads as possible and pull your needle through. I'm going to remove this pin. Hope that you don't get any knots like me. There we go. So now we have made a little invisible stitch through the right side of the garment. So now pick up your needle and we're going to go back into the facing right next to where we did the stitch through the garment and pick up maybe half an inch and just pull that through and then again we're going to pick up just like two threads of our garment fabric. This may be a little bit more but that's okay it's barely visible and I usually just do one swipe through with the needle to pick up a few threads of the garment and then some of the facing. And then just gently pull the thread. Don't pull it too tight. Um, you want it to be the same length as your facing or hem, but not gathering that fabric. So I'll just do a few more examples. Let's remove this. So I'll often do this just with the garment on my lap while I watch TV or something. It's a very relaxing stitch to do and it really creates a beautiful finish on the outside where you just can't even see that there was any stitching there. So it's really worth the time to learn how to do this stitch and um, how to do it well and it's worth the time 
to spin on your garments making this kind of stitch because they're going to be beautiful and the stitch really holds up. Um, it lasts well, especially if you treat your garments with care. So there, like this whole part is stitched and you can't see anything. So when you get to the end of your thread, you're going to finish it the same way you started by just taking a loop through the facing and then tying it in a knot. And then you can bury the thread into the facing. Ah, oh, come here. Just like run the thread through the facing and trim off any excess. Voila. Well, I hope that you found that video helpful. I really like to use slip stitches for doing a hem or for tacking down a bias facing. And the Lou Box Top is a great pattern for trying it out. I'll put a link in the show notes below. And make sure to hit the subscribe button so that you can stay up to date on all future videos. Happy sewing! Bye.